welcome back to the channel guys this is my pixel 10 pro and i've just installed the latest android 16 qpr2 beta 3. now you know this is going to be the biggest second quarter release for android 16 this is going to come hopefully december this year and with the qpr2 beta 3 google are giving us a little snippet of all the things that are going to be made available now they're not really a tons of new features versus the qpr2 beta 1 or qpr beta 2 but still there are some new things some things are missing anyway i want to show you really what this updates brings to us and we're going to start first with the versioning this is the build number 009.a1 it also comes with a new security update from the 5th of october and i think this is good google play system update is still uh, from the 1st of november all right guys let's start with the first obvious thing i'm gonna click here several times to be able to get to the eastern egg and show you one of the new things they implemented and to the qpr2 beta 3 now when you hold the android 16 logo the phone is gonna start vibrate by the way nice haptics so this is how the game looks like you can also click on auto and it's gonna autopilot but when i now exit from the game i'm gonna get something here and this thing here is interesting because this already shows us how the live updates are going to look like so you're calling a uber car you're ordering some pizza from domino's or i'm not sure what apps are really are going to be supported but you can see really a very good representation on how the new android 16 life updates are going to look like from this little spaceship game and if you don't like them boom you can just swipe away and you can of course also close the game now let me show you the lock screen customizations because some things are missing from here if i click on the wallpaper and style guys and i click on my lock screen and i want to change the clock i now only have this right so the only clock phase that exists right now is this thing here and i can modify this but i'm not able to switch back to the others when i updated from the sable channel to this i still got my old clock but now it's not visible as i changed the new one but this clock has something new now i'm gonna lock my phone and go on my lock screen and this is it now when i hit it guys it's going to vibrate and of course i can feel the haptics it's going to move around dance a bit yeah this is it and besides this there's also something that was missing so right now i can try to play a youtube video all right let me just try to do this and when i now go back on my lock screen the media player now is back it wasn't the case with the previous qpr and while i'm playing the video i can still access here this clock and make it somehow dense but sadly i'm not able to get uh, all my other clocks so this feature is gone for now but there are more things in regards to customization so let me scroll down in the settings uh, i want to show you something inside accessibility when you scroll down to color and motion there's going to be a new setting called reduce blur effects make backgrounds and panels easier to use so let me give you a snippet when i'm on my home screen and i swipe for my quick panel notifications i get this blur applied which i believe is a nice one and i get the same blur when i want to reach out for my app drawer which again really looks great but if you for a reason don't like this you can click here now pay attention guys there's going to be now a simple transition no blur is applied and the same happens when i am reaching out for my app drawer so if you're not a fan of blur now you'll have the option to reduce the blur settings they also introduced some very small changes on the home screen by making these icons this this and this a bit bigger than the previous build but i guess this is just a nitty gritty detail and they also did something else when you now click on an application you're gonna get all these plus signs so you can initiate a new conversation you can do this uh, on almost all the apps that support this from your home screen for example i can search on x on grok let's try to release on grok all right no grok doesn't support it but it works with some of the main apps okay facebook also doesn't work let's check instagram yeah it works for instagram so i can like, directly access the camera or click a new post and etc so this is i do believe something useful and they also introduced some new settings in terms of searching your photos and uh, the gallery by just going directly to the date so you can just click on a date here and you're going to be able to directly and immediately go to the selected date which i believe is cool so more changes let's go back inside the settings let's scroll down to sound and vibration we all know we have this very new nice looking bars for the volume control but now when you enter vibration and haptics you're gonna have the same but they're labeled a bit because you cannot just like gradually tune it you can use this this like four settings okay but now we have these bars here as well and now guys notice something that i believe is very cool when i am back on my lock screen and i swipe to the right like this yep the lock screen widgets are here so right now i have some stocks i do have the weather and i have also the gemini widgets 
I need to go once again in the settings and then in display and touch and then that's going to be a lock screen and inside the lock screen there's going to be something called a widgets on lock screen so if I disable this and go back to my lock screen, yeah, nada, nothing, right? But if I enable the widgets on my lock screen and I do the same, hopefully, yeah, I'm going to get uh, all this lock screen widget. Now, something that is not so cool is the fact that they have removed the option of when to automatically show those widgets, but they redesigned a whole menu with this nice new animation and with an indication that this is better. So right now, the only option is for you to use it or not use it but it's still available. If you did not follow my previous videos, some of the other things that we can expect and this release in December is gonna be auto dimming of the icons, which is something that existed of course before, but I just wanna show you because I do believe that this is kind of cool. Now we have this thing called team icons, all right? And if I apply it, finally, all my icons on the home screen are going to get thin, which I do believe is kind of something cool. And of course, they introduce some other things here as well. You're also able to change the shape of the icons. You can use this, that, all right? Let me just show you. So if that's your thing, you can also change the shape of the icons. And of course, uh, the new Android release is going to bring us an expanded dark mode. So right now, if you're going dark mode, the standard dark mode will only turn the theme on. But if you use the expanded one, it will even apply it to applications that are not supported. All right. But all of those things were there before. I just wanted to show them to you to just kind of like refresh your memory. So expect all these updates with the Android 16 QPR2, which hopefully should come somewhere in the beginning of December guys and if you have enjoyed this video you might as well want to check my video on the Xiaomi 17 Pro and yes I'm by the way recording this video with the Xiaomi 17 Pro thank you so much for watching guys stay safe VST over and bye